Hi, this is Landon here, and in this After Effects tutorial, we're going to learn how to use the Puppet tool on our text. This scene I've done here is an example of what we can achieve with the Puppet effect. So once we use the Puppet tool on our text, we can animate our text just like a puppet. To begin, go ahead and create a new composition, create a text, and I want to show you what we can do to the text before we add any additional effects or properties to it. Just like any other objects in After Effects, we can change the position, scale, rotation, anchor point of the text object. And that's pretty rigid, so we can't do much changes to it at this point. Other than that, the text object has a unique set of animation properties that we can enable by clicking on this button. You can choose your, the position, the scale, and every other properties that you want to animate. But the difference is it will animate it based on the letter or the word individually in one object. But in this case, I'm only using one letter, so I'm not going to use that. So by default, if we have a text and we want to add in our puppet effect, it would not work. We have to first convert our text into a shape. To do that, we just need to right click on our text and choose create shape from text. So after we've done that, you see that we have an extra layer in our project and that is the shape that was created based on the text that we have. And our text is still there. We can still edit it. We can still add in more text or change uh, the position, size, whatever, and it wouldn't affect the shape. And in this shape, we can modify the properties based on a shape object. And just like in Illustrator, you can select the points of this shape and drag it anywhere you want to deform it. We can, we can deform it by dragging it around. So when this type of deformation is possible, we have opened up the possibilities of changing our text into, let's say, a graphic, or maybe another text, like maybe from an E to an A, or a W to a V. So at some point, you might realize that you do not have enough points on the shape to create your desired deformation. And all you have to do is just like in Illustrator, use the pen tool and click on the lines of the shape to create more points. Now let's begin animating our text with the puppet effect. In the top panel of our composition, we select this button here. It is called the Puppet Pin Tool. Then we click on the points of our shape where we think our joint should be at. So once we're done with our pins, we can go to our layer and we can see that in our shape layer, we have added a new effect and it's the Puppet Effect. And if we open up this drop-down menu of the Puppet Effect, you will see the pins that we have put in into our shape. And by default, when you expand all these pins in the layer, you will see that the stopwatch is already enabled, so you can immediately animate your shape. To start animate our shape, we go to our time indicator, drag it to a further frame, then we go to our puppet pin, and we drag it to our desired position. So you realize that every time you drag on your puppet pin, a new keyframe will be created. But here's the thing. There will be certain frames that we would not want certain pins to be moved. It's going to stay there like how it is. So, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't give it a keyframe because when, let's say, in further frames, you start to animate this pin. Then it would animate from the initial frame where you had a keyframe far behind and translate to the new keyframe where you set the new position. So, for example, 
you have set a keyframe in the start at frame 25. And, and in between 25 to 45, you have animated other pins, but not this pin. So let's say when you animate at 45 and you only want the effect between 35 to 45, it wouldn't happen that way. So my tip is every time we want to animate our puppet, we need to add in a set of keyframes for every pin, whether or not the pin has to move during that frame. The downside of the puppet effect is that whenever you apply it to your object, you will realize you can no longer change the transform properties such as the position, scale, and rotation. So let's say we change the position here and you will see that it is like it is gone out of place. It is like it is masked by this shape and if you move it, it will no longer be seen. And here's where the text layer that is left behind comes in handy. We can animate this text however we want with its transform and we just have to position it just right where the puppet is located after it began to animate. So it matches our puppet and it creates an illusion that two of these different objects are the same. So that's how you can apply the puppet effect on text, which is technically a shape. And that's all for this tutorial. Thank you for watching.